No. Yeah, see. And yeah, probably. Last one. Lovely jelly baby. Um, however. Just had this lovely, lovely craft beer by uh, the Allendale Brewing Company. Dirty Deeds, 6.6 percenter. Really nice. Went down a treat. Unsport locations, but for how long? Wild camping contravenes the National Trust bylaws. And it's the mess left by a minority that's creating not just an environmental eyesore, but an unwelcome extra workload. In places like Derbyshire's Peak District this year, campsites are often full to capacity. One result is unauthorised camping. Now happening across the UK, the effect can be so similar to fly tipping, it's become known as fly camping. We would find tents, we would find sleeping bags just abandoned, chairs, broken glass. People might think it's lovely to be here and it's free to just pitch your tent, but what is the impact on, on this environment? It can be quite disheartening when you come across um, yeah, rubbish that's there that could potentially harm or damage the wildlife that lives in that area. Hi folks, my name's Simon, that bloke from the woods, and Chris from MCM Outdoors has asked me to say a few words about looking after the environment while we're out camping. I've got three tips. Now I know I'm obviously preaching to the converted here, because if you're watching this video, you already know all this, but um, you know, hopefully this will get around and reach those people who maybe don't. So my three tips are, when you're picking a campsite, somewhere to set up for the night, pick somewhere that is gonna have minimum impact on the environment that you're staying in. Uh, look for a spot which is already reasonably clear, where you haven't got to remove limbs from trees or even cut down living trees, which is just not necessary at all. Um, and look for a spot where you're going to do minimum damage. My second tip concerns fire scars. When you're clearing up your camp, uh, you know, you've obviously put your fire out, you've made sure it's all cool, you've used loads and loads of water. Just dig down underneath the fire, make sure it's all cool. Gather up any bits of unburnt wood, any embers and stuff, and just chuck them off into the bushes, scatter them about, and then cover over that fire scar so that it's not visible. And my third tip is to do with rubbish. We all know it. Whatever you take into camp, you know, you take away with you, don't you? However, I am forever finding baby wipes left in camp, and they're one of my biggest bugbears. A lot of people seem to think that it's okay just to bury them. Um, animals dig them up, and even the biodegradable ones take years to rot down. So if you're using baby wipes in particular, bag them up and take them out with you as well. Like I said, I'm not trying to be preachy, um, but if we all do our bit, it'll go a long way to help keep our environment looking the way we like it to look and helping our reputation as wild campers. Thanks for listening. Take care. Hi guys, my name is Matthias Lausen and uh, I'm coming to you from the Arctic Tundra in Western Greenland. And uh, I'd just like to say how happy I am to be part of the online outdoors and wild camping community. And uh, I'm also very happy that so many of you have just gotten to go outside again after the coronavirus lockdown. But uh, with so many more people going outside, I think it's very important that we help each other to take care of nature, remind each other of the principles of leave no trace so that we can leave the place as beautiful as it was when we found it so that uh, as many people as possible can get to enjoy it and so that we don't uh, make enemies of the local populations in the areas that we uh, visit. And then um, last I've arranged for this glacier to carve right now. Okay, maybe next time. Beautiful!
beautiful white water in our valleys. Leave no trace. That's where it's at. Think on people. I know the majority of us do it, but let's spread the word. It's all about leaving no trace. Yeah. Let's leave this for our ancestors, for our children and our grandchildren. Let's leave it beautiful. Get out there, enjoy the wilds, but leave no trace. You know what? Coming into this place just makes me a hundred times better. Mental wise, health wise. From the time I'm here to when I go home, you totally you, you feel you feel lifted. And it helps that in this area we keep it clean, we keep it tidy. You know, I mean what does leave no trace mean to me? It means mentally, you know, mental health health benefits of coming into a, a clean countryside it doesn't have to be a clean countryside wherever you're walking you just feel better when the place is tidy please when you're out during this horrible period that we're going through with your children and you're enjoying places like this please pick up your rubbish don't leave it don't leave it for another family like me and Charlie to come out and, and step in it or have to clean it away. Leaving no trace can be as simple as shutting a gate. I'm just putting this one together on a wing and a prayer, just out of living it. I wanted to put this video together in response to recent negative media attention around wild camping, uh, anti-social camping, um, littering, just awful behaviour in the great outdoors, which unfortunately, um, since lockdown, um, has been lifted. I don't know why, but there seems to be an increase of that kind of behaviour, which we don't really want to see in our lovely outdoor places which we love so much and uh, I feel very strongly about that and I thought it was a good idea to try and get a message out there a positive and responsible message from responsible people who try and do the right thing and encourage good behaviour in the great outdoors and with that in mind um, I contacted a few people and asked them would they mind putting some clips together to send to me and if they'd like to be involved in this positive message so I want to say a big massive thank you to everyone who's kindly given up their time and uh, sent me over a clip which you're going to see after this. Really appreciate it folks and thank you so much. Um, it's a really important message isn't it? Leave no trace. You know we don't need to preach. It's not a preachy video. It's just pretty basic as far as I'm concerned. We love the outdoors. It brings us so much benefits. It's good for our mental health. It's good for our physical health and it's just great for our overall well-being so we've got a duty to do our bit as well and look after our outdoor places and leave a no trace it's not a complicated message it really is that simple simply leave things the way they were when you found them now you'll see in many of my camping videos that i make a point of showing there's just some flattened grass after i've been the next morning and that is how it, it's always the case just be responsible and look after our outdoor places um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I'd like to um, try and maybe get a bit of a hashtag trending from the positive people, the responsible people. I leave no trace. Um, you know, when we're putting our pictures maybe on social media, if we can be a bit thoughtful about the message we're trying to portray. And I know everyone is anyway in the circles that I follow. But I thought it'd be a great idea to use the hashtag. I leave no trace. Uh, encourage some responsible personal responsibility and be proud that we're conveying that message and be proud that we leave no trace and encourage others to follow in our own footsteps i think with a bit of a push we can get the positive message out there and counteract some of the negative things which we've seen in the media recently thanks very much for your time 
I hope you enjoy the video and be sure if you're not already following which I suspect you are go and check out the people that have contributed to this video who I'm eternally grateful for giving up their time and the links are below in the description thanks everyone and I leave no trace the leave no trace message is really straightforward it's 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 in the name leave no trace you know take your stuff home with you take your rubbish home um, you know making sure that you aren't contributing to the problem but sometimes uh, leave no trace to me also means clearing up after other people you know so if you see some rubbish on the floor like this just pick it up find a bin take it home whatever it's simple you know just do your bit the world will be a cleaner place to respect the environment Keep the great outdoors nice and lovely for everyone. Wait, to keep. What did I say? To creep. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it again. To keep the great outdoors nice and lovely for everyone. So that the animals don't get hurt. So the animals don't get stuck in our bottles. <laughs> To keep our wild places wild and to keep them free and accessible for today and into the future. I leave no trace. I leave no trace. I leave no trace. I leave no trace. We, we leave, leave no, no trace. trace. Hello, you beautiful lot. My name is Becca, also known as Muddy Bootlaces over on Instagram. And today I want to share with you three ways that I leave no trace while I am wild camping. So the first thing I do is take all food waste out with me. And what I mean by this is those leftover oats, that little bit of ramen that's in the pot, that five bean chili that was way too spicy to eat. All of this comes out with me in a little dog pee bag. Because although that stuff biodegrades, Sid the sparrow who comes along and chows down on that chili probably isn't gonna have the greatest of times. To add to that, if this waste is continuously being dropped in areas such as Dartmoor or the bullies in Scotland where it's quite popular to wild camp, eventually rats and other scavengers may move in and that's not gonna be so great for the ecosystem. The second thing I do, food comes in, it's got to come out, so I have invested in one of these. It is indeed a wonderful little shit shovel. Um, how to use these, you literally dig a hole about six inches deep, a few hundred meters away from any water source, do your biz, bury it back over, pack out your paper. Again, if you're someone who wheezes and wipes, also pack out that paper with you, because although this stuff will biodegrade in nine to 12 weeks, that's still three months that it's kicking around in the environment. And to be honest, the likelihood that that paper is 100% bamboo or 100% paper is pretty unlikely. So there's still some other stuff potentially going on. This also applies to sanitary items. Please take them with you. Um, if you are someone who is going on a long hike or wild camp and doesn't want to deal with those sanitary items being taken with you every day, you can invest in a menstrual cup or a moon cup. And to just get rid of this, you dig a little hole, very similar um, with the shovel, empty out that cup, bury it back over, continue using the cup. So it's a very eco way of going about it. The third thing that I do is make sure I'm not just leaving no trace to the visible eye, but I also kind of consider what I can't see. We all know microplastics are pretty darn bad for the environment, but these are in a lot of things. So I really do try and check the back of my tea bags, the toothpaste I'm using, the face wash that I'm using to make sure that it doesn't have any microplastics in because eventually that could potentially cause some harm. And it doesn't take much to swap out your normal tea bags for a tea that doesn't contain microplastics or a little tea strainer. And loose tea really tastes nice. So it's quite a nice compromise anyway. All right, so those are the three ways that I practice leaving no trace on the trail. Um, I hope some of that's been helpful to you. And yeah, I leave no trace. I hope you leave no trace. Peace out and have a great day. Bye. So you can't beat getting your boots on and getting out in the fresh air. It's a great form of exercise. It's also good for your mental health too. Just look at it, five minutes away from where I live and I'm out in the beautiful countryside. 
if I'm not walking along my local trail, you probably find me hiking up in the hills or pitching my tent in a beautiful location on the side of a mountain. I really am a firm believer that the countryside is there for everybody to enjoy, but we really need to start looking after it. Whether you've pitched your tent up in the hills or mountains, or you're just visiting your local park, you need to follow the leave no trace philosophy. This is not acceptable. Whether it's a can of pop or a packet of crisps, you take your rubbish home with you. You don't just chuck it around our local countryside. And if you see some lying around, and you can get rid of it, do the decent thing and pick it up. I know it's not yours, but we can all do our little bit to help keep the countryside clean. My name is Paul Messner and I leave no trace.